Pour your heart. You're in the sun like a flower blooming. Sun is in my eyes. Oh. Hi, guys. Hello, Joyce. Fatima. Hello, hello. Joseph. How is it? Hello, How is your week? I can't believe it. it's only Tuesday. I'm so worn out. It's like the weekend, oh. you know. Um. I don't know if everybody has Labor Day. I know the United States has Labor Day. Do you guys everywhere in the world have Labor Day? So it was Labor Day in Canada and the United States yesterday. Did you have Labor Day in Spain? Well, they have festive day, day off. I, I, no, there is no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No, anyway, I don't know. The Monday off kind of threw me for today. So yeah, it's anyway, just messed me up a little bit. Hello, Kim. Hi, Kim. I think every country has a, a, a Labor Day, but um, it may be um, during different the time. Time, different time. So. Hello, Sylvia, Renee, Sherwin. Hello. Hey, Danique. Annette, Danique. Hello, hello. hello. Hi, guys, do you feel like you need a weekend? Like you want to skip to the weekend? I feel like I want to skip to the weekend. Hi, Sandra. So today we are not in South Africa. There's no uh, Labor Day, but we must have it on another day. Hi, Gwen, Fatima, Brazil. Brazil. Hello, hello. Yeah, hello. let us know where you guys are watching from. What time is it? How are you feeling today? Tell us everything. Tell us everything. <laughs> we want to know everything. I like your shirt. What's that? Is that sequin? No, no, it's just a print of uh, flowers. It's uh, <laughs> I have some sweatshirts that are like so old. My husband teases me all the time, like the collars all messed up. You know, I go nowhere and see no one. I don't care. And so he's like, you need some new clothes. <laughs> so I got this shirt here. It's nice. I like it. Thank you. Hey, Rachel. <laughs> all right. So today we are going to, I'm going to be doing some Halloween cookies and Mar is going to do, what are you doing? Not in the Netherlands. I'm doing a, a, a flip. I'm doing a flip. I hear you, Kim. I don't really have weekends. That's why I was like, the weekend happened. I don't know that it was a weekend, but yeah, yeah I still look, I still kind of try to look forward to Saturday. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's the funny thing because we obviously work for ourselves, right? And so when you work for yourself, you literally don't ever stop working. Yes. But on the weekend, I try to go for a run. That's what I do. I try to uh, take the, well, take the morning off. I get up very early and I go for a run. <laughs> Hi, Camille. Yes, comfy is the most important. Exactly, all that matters. The most important. I so did you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I think I want you to go first. I just literally baked the cookies. I think they are still, I nearly, nearly um, burned them. I was like, oh, I was oh, washing gosh. the dishes and I nearly burned them, but they are uh, very nicely caramelized. Let's just say that. Perfect, perfect. Hello, Sandra. Okay, so like I said, I'm a little bit ill prepared because of yesterday. I did have a little bit of um, just the holidays are crazy for us, but it's a new video nonetheless. I posted the fast version on Facebook and people were digging it. So here it is. This is when I say a flip. A flip is when you're using a shape in multiple ways. So the cutter is right here. It's just a little pickup truck with nothing. And so I use my Sweet Sugar Bell. I don't know if you guys know who those cutters. Sweet Sugar Bell came out with two mini sets and all kinds of different sh uh, shapes in there. And so I took the mini tree and the mini pumpkin and I did a Franken cookie and I grouped them together. And if you want to know what a Franken cookie is, I do have um, a little video in my reels on Instagram and I explain Franken cookies and puzzle cookies and all that. I started a little series on Instagram explaining all kinds of different, just cookie jargon, you know, the stuff that we, you'll maybe hear us sometimes say. I also have a new TikTok if you want to look for me. Uh, my handle is always Montreal Confection. So here you can see the, the trucks, and this is actually on coffee. I did list this on coffee, the royal icing transfers you'll see me using. 
And so you can see I've got some really basic guidelines on the truck with the little uh, tree there. So you guys can pop your questions in, no problem. So the first thing that I did for this, this truck, first thing you want to do is rest your, your cutter on your transfer sheet when you print it to make sure that they're good size. Once you've confirmed they're good, the good size and they print it at the good um, dimension, then you can do your royal icing transfers. You can make your truck any color you want. The Christmas version, it's nice, you know, red. And so I just quickly did, now I tried to Google it. What would this part of the truck be called? I have no idea what this part of, the, it's a tire or something. What do you, you know? You mean the red part? Well, the thing that's over the tire. Well, that's the, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, but, exactly my point. What is that part? <laughs> Okay, thing over the tire. <laughs> Show it again. So we want to have volume and dimension on this. It's if you look at the vintage trucks, that particular part of the truck is very round and bubbled, you know? So you want to have an icing that's a little bit on the thicker side that's going to hold that volume because if your icing is very runny, it tends to dry very flat. Fender. A, fender, a wheel well, a fender. Yes. So everybody's in agreement it's a fender. I, I'm not so truck uh, savvy. So thank you very much. And, and the next here, let's go to the next. So then once I had those, I could let them dry. And you know, you make those in advance and just set them aside. So here's my actual cookie and I'm just, you know, adding a small little layer of white for the windows here. I wanted the windows to look a little bit inset in the truck there. And so I'm just covering the little guideline, but you can see the icing is translucent. So you can see it, no problem. And then once the white had had time to dry, I'm just with black icing outlining what I want to be silver. So my silver is very uh, opaque and I didn't wanna have to mix a ton of colors so the black is going to serve double duty. It's going to be the wheels as well. So this, oh, how, how did that go back to that? Let's go back to my truck. All right, so once I had all my silver parts on, I'm airbrushing the silver and I poured my silver in my gun there and I'm just painting all that. And what happens on the white area, it just looks kind of like shiny. It doesn't really make the white very silver, it just kind of makes it look like shiny, like kind of like glass. And the best way to get your metallics on is when there's nothing else on the cookie, that way you don't have to worry about being very precise. I could just go quickly and shoot everywhere. And then with that same icing now, I can come in and add my tires. And it's super fast. You can see I'm not mixed, you know, I don't have to, a lot of steps and now I'm not waiting after I did the tire. I'm doing immediately the, um, the, the back of the truck again, the truck parts, <laughs> the box, I guess. <laughs> and I drop my royal icing And I drop my royal icing transfer in there while it's wet. And oh now I know why this is there. So here let's you just take like it. to type in truck anatomy or something. <laughs> I did. You know, and and you know, you know, you know. I don't remember this stuff. <laughs> but so what happened here is it this video? No, it's this video. Truck bed. So it's a, let's call it a truck bed, is the back part. Yeah. So you see my little silicone cup? I love that little silicone cup to pour my airbrush in. I All just got some. I can't believe it. Bed. I just got some, got some silicone, uh, little silicone cups. So surely you can. The thing about the why I'm airbrushing is because I don't have to wait for it to dry. So if you're painting with a paintbrush, you have to wait for that black to dry. And so me, it's practically like fresh there, boom, I can paint it. And so you're not touching the surface of the icing when you airbrush and that's why I'm doing that. And you see, then it's like basically just, just crusted and I'm able to come in and add the, the tire and the wheel, what I'm trying to show you guys now is the wheel doesn't have to be perfectly round because that um, fender thing is gonna hide the seam between the tire 
and the truck bed. Look at us. We're almost oh, <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, this is funny. <laughs> what is acceptable versus bad? Yes, it's a box as well. Oh, yes. thank you, Kat. She's getting up <laughs> ready for the next part of the truck. <laughs> the front part? Uh, yes, the cab. <laughs> so now we've got two. So it's a fender. We have the, what was it? Truck back. Uh, what was it called? bed truck bed and what else do we have so we have and now the front part oh it's uh, this video here so the front oh. part same thing now you can wait for the the box to kind of crust a little bit if you want to have that seam between the two uh, areas if you don't care you can do it all but and the, this is the part some people struggle making circles but because of the fender like i mentioned it doesn't have to be perfectly round the tire gets hidden partially because of the fender and it makes it look more round. Now this is the red version. It's exactly the same thing for the oh. fall pumpkin version. The only difference is I add the pumpkin as the first step. If you're doing the pumpkin, because I wanted the pumpkin to look like it was inside the box. For the tree, I wanted it to kind of look like it was hanging out a little bit of the box. So that's the difference. I'm piping the tree a little bit on top of the truck. So the fender is the silver part. We have it wrong. The fender is the silver part. Is it the silver part? I thought it was a bumper. The Debbie says the fender is the silver part. So, okay. So then, then. Um, so that's a wheel well? So that's a wheel well. That would make sense. Wheel well. That's one cool wheel well you made. So you see when I add the wheel well over the tire, um, I know that part, I know windshield, I know steering wheel, I know. So you can see how it um, kind of like, and now for the tree, uh, you see how I'm piping with the star tip there, I'm kind of going a little bit over the truck. So you kind of like, it looks like the truck is kind of hanging over the side a little bit. And because of that star tip, you get all that nice texture and it's very dimensional. Is this a simple cookie? Is this complicated? In my mind, this is somewhat- Oh, you have it wrong. So it's no, the silver part is the running board. Okay, now you're getting me lost. <laughs> running board. So running board, fender, truck bed. And then I add one, the cookie has to be completely dry before you do this snow thing. The sanding sugar needs a completely, completely dry surface before you can start sprinkling with um, sanding sugar or else it's gonna stick everywhere. Incredible. The red here, let me look at your questions. So here, cat's a pro. <laughs> so there, you guys are getting up on your truck jargon on top of the cookie jargon. That red, yes, I, I made the red the day before and and um, I used the Americolor powder. So if you go on their actual website, Americolor, they have a line of, of powdered food color and it's the red is really, really, really nice. A running board, okay, Kat. It almost reminds me of like a motherboard, you know, like I'm dealing with some computer issues now. So all in my head is the motherboard and RAM and all that. Wheel stuff. arch. Wheel arch. Gas means go. That is correct. I don't drive a stick shift. It's too complicated. Hey, Joanne. Thanks for joining us. The tire, over the tire is the fender. Cats saying fender. Yeah, over the tire, the tire, the red, red part, the transfer is the fender. The silver is the running board. The back of the truck is the truck van. <laughs> well, it's kind of funny. We got a lot more. I mean, it's, uh, you know, uh, that's. Hi, Joanne. Well, you can watch it on the replay. Oh, I see. So the running board is like the step. Yeah, well, usually these trucks are very, like, high, you know? Yes, it's like to oh. get into it, you need a ladder. Yes, you too. <laughs> Yes, I love the cookie. Isn't it cute? So oh, I love it. I also got your thumbnail, you Danny. That's a cool thumbnail, thumbnail your uh, picture. Really nice. Oh, yes. I, uh, yes. Bouncing up. Bouncing up somewhere. 
Let's so uh, you see here the versatility of the design. So fun thing is the royal icing transfers. Once piped on the parchment paper, well, you can airbrush them if you want to add shading to them and you don't have to worry about them get like, you know, if you're not that good, if you're a beginner with the airbrushing. And if you want, you can add like spots, you know, make it look older, rust type things. It's just cute. And what I like about it, like I showed you guys to the picture, is that you can put anything in, in the box because... It's a Franken cookie. So here I got the regular truck because people are selling the cutters with the tree or with the pumpkin. But I could put an Easter egg back there. I could put a oh, there. I could put, oh, no, you could put there a skull. I could put a skull. I could put a bunch of carrots. Like a he has a big load of carrots for for uh, for Easter and have maybe a bunny driving. I mean, you could do anything. <laughs> So this particular cutter, I did put the link in the co in the coffee listing for the template. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the bunny's driving and his ears are flowing, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, buy the template in the description though, the link to the cookie cutter is in there. Just you just have to go to the description box in the coffee shop and you'll find the link. So Shirley's asking roughly how large is this cookie? Eleven. You can see my hand is there holding underneath there. It's maybe, uh, I want to say, four inches long. It's not a big, big, big cookie, you know? And those little cookies, the little minis in the in the box there, those are like an inch and a half. They're not big. They're not big cookies. Cute. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I don't know if I have a truck like this. This is cute. And also, another thing you could do if you wanted, well, you could make that, uh, the fender, as another cookie and actually make a 3D cookie. Because if you were to stand it up and have the fender and the wheel as a separate cookie sticking out, well, you could have a little 3D uh, situation going. Oh, yeah. Pinata truck. That would be cute. That yeah, could be cute. Play with the concept. So yeah, anything you want in the back truck, you could add rust to it, you could do whatever. You could do a version for that uh, Disney yeah. character. Lights, you could add lights on a bed, truck bed. Little wreath, whatever you want. Maybe beat it up so it's it's like very beat it up truck. Or maybe you could do, oh, you know, the flames, airbrush the flames. Have it a bit, uh, you know. Go for it, Joseph. You've been watching. I don't know if you've tried. You found us. You're going to have to jump into it. Yes. Yes, we do take suggestions and idea like you know for like for example today uh, we we I'm gonna come clean. I had no idea what to make today. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, okay. yeah. What what do you what, what what do you what what do you pop yes. a ghost in a truck? Yes, that would be really cute. Oh um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sometimes so, uh, Kim here she's saying Kim, let us know what what yeah. kind of ideas you tell have. us. We want to know. <laughs> tell us. Yes, that sounds fun. Very cute. Yeah, like, I mean, th these types of cookies are infinite. You could put a little um, company thing, you know, if you have the small marker, the really fine marker, you could write, like, a little company name on the door. Oh, a John Deere tractor. Yeah, that'd be cute. I did, I did that a while ago, but not like that. It was, a, I think, um, a small tractor. I, I could, uh, that would be fun to redo that. Because, I mean, honestly, John Deere, the... John Deere stuff is very popular with oh, yeah. very, very know, popular. even like I think some ladies enjoy that type of stuff too. It's not, you know, just I, I like to law do the lawn. Yeah. But well certainly more fun to do the um, the lawn on a tractor than push mower. Oh yeah. Oh, oh a masquerade. Oh, nice masquerade masks. That's a good idea. Oh. Huh. Ball, sports, volleyball, football, soccer. Yeah, we did. I did those. I could do those again because I did that when I when I did those the the live. I had a. Um, but I think she means like a spin, like a fall spin. <laughs> fall spin. Well, you. Oh, okay. A fall sports cookies. Okay, yeah. that's a good idea. Could do like a wreath with different balls in it. You know, like you know, like a wreath a platter or something. Could do a uh, oh yeah, I'm thinking Christmas Christmas tree with, uh, with sports. 
So um, I'm relatively done, but I'll just quickly show my kits. These are my cookie kits that I just, just uh, launched there. There's quite a few. I was busy, busy, busy. Yes. So these are all available at Global Belly. I don't know if they're still running the sale for the Labor Day, but they, I think they usually run the orders of within the U.S. over $40 are free. But I would make sure to... to yeah, I'd have to... to, to sure again. And then to purchase, we have to... Do we have a link? It's, it's Global Belly. Uh, you just... Yeah, I would just pipe a pipe. I would just type uh, Global Belly Montreal Confections, correct? Yeah. And, and if you go, there's a search bar there. Yes. There's a search bar on their so site. What I'm going to be doing today, um, uh, because I was going a little blank, so I wanted to do um, um, really simple, hello, and these are really simple. I know you guys, we have a different opinion about simple, <laughs> but these are really simple, I promise. Um, so, and these are also available in my coffee shop. And I'm just trying to... Um, find the oh, there's picture. the global belly site this is the picture so i did the the teeth uh, a couple of weeks ago we're just gonna today do the um, the cold run the candy corn the ghost or um well this is more of a ghost and then i also have a jack on lantern one prepared so hopefully i can do all of them and these are available in the global belly store my global belly store now i'm gonna do a little you're doing the camera dance yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Well, it's literally a dance now. All right. So, oops. Sorry. Um, my, oh, I need, to, oh, I need to do this. Did you ever do this? Shanna just po posted that. Did you ever do that? Is that ringing a bell to me? Comedy and tragedy masks. I don't know if I did it or I wanted, I, I, I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm gonna to have to go through the comments after the live to see all the. When when wrote me last week asking me about a cookie. I'm like, I, I never made that cookie. Yet. You're thinking about somebody else. And then she says, Oh, this this. I'm like, Oh my gosh, yes, I did make that. It's like we made so many cookies. It's like can't even remember what we've done. All right, so this is the cutter that I'm gonna be using, and it's a very. Um, oh, is that the one you did the apples with? Yes, exactly. Oh, I couldn't remember where I used it for. Yes, I, I forget. I have the apples. Yes. So um, this is a it's a it's a cupcake classic. I would say it's a cupcake classic, and it's great for all kinds of things. You can turn it upside down, do um, Santa. You could do uh, different things with it. Today we're going to focus on a cupcake shape and do some cupcakes. So as like I said, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna try to show you um, three or four. And uh, let's start with the um, candy corn. So to decorate the candy corn, but I'm, I'm going to do purple. And I know this is a popular question. How do you get the purple? Purple is such a popular Halloween color. What is your favorite Halloween? What are your colors? Like what do you associate with Halloween guys? What are the, let's say three colors you associate with Halloween that you couldn't like go without them? Like me, for me, it's the orange, um, purple, orange, purple, and I guess, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know, maybe like the, the electric green or maybe yellow. I don't know. The classics. Oh, classics. Orange, black, purple. So to get the purple, uh, today I used actually um, this is Regal purple from Emery Color Brand. Okay, it's a spray from a bottle purple. I didn't feel like mixing uh, anything else. But if you don't have this, you can also use um, what you can use is what I have done for many years. It's electric pink. I love electric pink and sky blue or electric blue. And you just mix those until you're happy with your color. Otherwise, I like really, it's really hard to find nice purple straight from a bottle. Do you have one that you really like? Um, I have to agree with you. I mean, usually if I'm working straight from the bottle, I have to add like a touch of pink because it's like it's it it's more grayish. It gives it like a dingy look, you know. 
So everybody's in agreement with you. Yeah. Okay, oh, so, why? Why? That's, that's good. so I'm going to be using and This is also included, not this amount, obviously. These sprinkles are also included in the kit. There are only, what is that, $10 for that little bottle? This is $8. Six, actually, this was from a cake store supply store, so it was $6. But it's quite, you know, it's expensive, and you don't use all of it, obviously. So to apply this on a cookie, what I found out works best, uh, instead of dumping it on, because they kind of stick together. It's not like a regular sprinkle. These are more like um, wafer paper kind of a thing. So <laughs> this, I'm going to, like, it's. It's, it's a bit finicky, so I just <laughs> take them one by one. By one. <laughs> no, you have no choice. Yeah, so I just do that. So I, what you can do, you can place some of them on the, on your work surface and then just, if you add a little bit of, let's say you can pick it up. So what you do, you kind of dip your tip in the icing a little bit, and that's going to create a glue, kind of like a glue action there. So it's going to stick to it, and then you can easily pick it up. I don't know if you can see how I'm picking it up over here see how easy it is to pick it up and then you place it on there and sometimes there are two or more sticking together so yeah so i'm just doing this um and then we have to i'm gonna set this aside and i'll start the, the, really the easiest way hmm? the needle oh i'm uh, reverbing i just heard like weirdness Needle is the easiest way to place those particular. Oh, yes, yes, you can really like place them where you want them. Like this would be great. Like if you're doing even eyes, this would be really cute. Uh, they have silver ones to add them if you're making the eyes. So I'm gonna now set this aside. I had a fan running here close by, so I'm gonna just set it aside there so it crusts, and I'm gonna start working on the other one. So I have not Kim, but I did try the Americolor, and I did like them the powders. And then again, I'm putting it back, like it sticks to it. You have, you just have to, like I, I'm pressing it down a little bit. I don't have anything on my on my scribe there. Oops. I wonder oh. how they make them. I wonder if I it's know, But I don't want to waste any of it. Yes. <laughs> it's, um, it's an edible glitter gold stars. And this is, uh, it's interesting because Vilton also makes the same product. Well, what's great about these particular stars is they're nice to bite in. You know, so many of the sprinkles are not pleasant. Yes, that's I do agree. So now I'm gonna do a wet on wet um, design. So I have to cut my piping bags first. So the stars are Kim stars are you can find these at Michaels Gilton. They have them um, in smaller jars. They have they actually sell them. I think in, a, in little little containers like this, Wilton. This is a larger one. It's a different packaging, different different um, company, but it's the same. I, I believe it looks like the same product. The size is the same. Um, Michaels, I think they have them maybe for four four ninety nine or something like that. And you can use the coupon. Yes. So this is a CK product, but also you can find it at um, Michaels. Milton carries the same product, and they come in, I believe. Uh, two colors and then they have a similar product and it's a heart shape, which I also have. Those are really cute, pink and I think silver. So now I'm going to, I'm gonna to have to cut few bags because I'm gonna be doing wet on wet. Okay, so this is my t -plus bag. And as always, um, this is the way I like to cut it. Find a seam, press it in the middle and then cut straight. Now, I just bag these like right before the live. So hopefully, uh, I won't have a lot of... Um, they haven't separated yet. Hopefully they, yeah, they didn't have a chance. So I have, I may also need some green. And all of these are about 15 second consistency. And I also need yellow. <laughs> so are you guys planning on making Halloween cookies this year? Is everybody... Uh... Of I'm course you are, because you have such a great, uh, we have such a great selection. You have Halloween cookies in, uh, in the Global global Belly Shop. I have Halloween cookies in Global Belly Shop. And we are looking forward to seeing your pictures of your finished cookies. <laughs> Absolutely. But sorry, I, don't wanna, I didn't want to interrupt you. Well, no, um, I was just asking them what they're going to, you know, what, if they've got big plans, because I know, and you know, sometimes we have big plans. But it doesn't work out necessarily, but. 
Well, I already started working on my Halloween cookies. I just released on my page for my patrons for um, the second uh, tier. I released a new tutorial of, um, if I may say myself, really cool gingerbread house. It's a spooky like skull gingerbread with skull, lots of skulls. There is a um, fun blood well. I don't know who suggested that. Uh, I think I, I don't know. Maybe wrong. Uh, maybe Karen or Debbie, I can't remember exactly, but it was uh, during the one of the lives. Somebody suggested that I... I uh, that is um, quite gross. Shirley's making Halloween <laughs> cookies. <laughs> that Cynthia is wants to try a, a haunted house and some a Frankenstein. So I'm going to try to do large dots instead of small dots. And I'm just going to use variety of Halloween colors here. I'm not really, uh, there is no particular placing of these. I'm just randomly placing them where I feel um, them fit. It doesn't have to be, you know, in order or anything like that. That's what makes this project really, really uh, easy. Well, you can start by drawing, Paula, sketch them out. And I find that the sketching is that can get you excited about your project. So I'm going to, again, put this in front of the pen. And I'm going to start on my third cookie. And this is going to be, I think this is my favorite of all the designs because it's a little different. It's a cauldron, a cauldron. Um, but again, we have to do the bottom. I'm doing the bottom first. And I'm using orange. Hey, Ems. Thank you, Thank you. Hello, Amber. So to, to oops, the, my opening is quite small. So to, to make the orange, um, now if you're in a pinch, yes, you can use um, red, red and yellow, uh, yellow. But for whatever reason, I always find that the orange from the bottle comes out so much nicer than uh, when I do red and yellow. So. Get your orange colors now. They even sell orange neon colors. For Halloween, it's fantastic because you mm -hmm. get this nice, vibrant orange color. And you can see a little caramelization on the edges of my cookie. That's where, um, yeah, I forgot that they were in the oven. I was doing the dishes. Yeah, it happens. But this would be actually fine. I actually do like the little... Um, caramelized like this. It's so tasty. Just an FYI, on, I'm going to put it here in the comments, actually. But Chef Master has a um, color mixing wheel. And so if that's interesting to any of you that struggle maybe with the, you know, how to, what colors make what color type thing, you can go check it out. I just put it in the all the comments section there, you can see it. Chef Master color mixing chart. So in front of the pan. And then the last one we are going to do, um, let's see what color this is going to be. I think it's supposed to be green, yes. So, so is, this, I think, um, is this this? Is it? The... Yes, we're doing, we're doing, uh, so the, the orange one, it's the cauldron one. I'm going to do the top in a minute. It, it crossed you. You really, I don't think you, you can do it without crusting, but I think I think it looks much better when it's crusted. And then uh, the fourth one, I don't I don't think it's in this picture, but it was just loaded up. That's the uh, jack o' lantern that I'm doing as well. Okay. And that was the polka dot one. So now I'm doing um, I'm going to do um, this is the green one that I'm using. Oops, let me take this off so you can see. All right, so this is basically the same thing. We're just going to outline and flood the bottom with green. And okay, another small opening, so I have to make it a little bigger. Sorry to hear that, Kim. I don't know what's causing okay. you stress. Try to relax. Nature, nature uh, is really wonderful. If you can get out in, 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 to, you know, go for a walk, maybe park or. Um, to get your mind thinking about something else. It's hard though, right? 
for sure. Lu Luima. Hello, Luima. Yes, the dogs. How many how many cookies did the dogs get to eat? Huh? Oh, really? The dogs? What, but does that mean they ate the cookies? Well, no, she's saying they were no good, so they gave them to the dogs. I think oh, the dogs like them? I mean, if they're anything like my dog, the, the dog would eat trash. I mean, like dogs. <laughs> Some dogs are finicky, but I've never owned a finicky dog. I mean, they just eat whatever. All right, so this, the purple one is crusted. It looks like it's crusted. Um, so I'm just gonna pick it up. You can see it's still shiny, but the way you can tell that it's crusted, I'm just gonna do a little damage here because I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide it. So I'm gonna use my scribe tool and you, you see, I don't know if you can see or not, but I just poked it a little. You see? Oh, it has a little... Uh... Oh, it's, it's crusted. It's not dry, but it's crusted over, so I can start working on the top. Okay? And the top is going to be decorated in three sections, basically. Now, you can do this uh, without without um, drawing on, but if, if you're struggling, you can take a edible marker and just uh, make the... What are these called? Swirls? The, 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 yeah, I guess the cupcake swirl. Is that the anatomy of the, what's, what is it? I'm going to start the anatomy of a cupcake as a, for the Now we're going, to, going back to my trouble, the candy corn color order. <laughs> so I always have a, a hard time. Oh, you're doing the candy corn order, yes. Yeah. Yes. Why is this? Oh, is this just my shirt? Paula's saying that she has to lock the dogs up when she's making cookies that they love them so much. You know what my goofy dog loves? Tomatoes. Tomatoes? Yeah. The garden, she walks around the garden to see if there's tomatoes that fell off the plant. And the other day I had gone out and picked my cherry tomatoes, put them on the table, and then went off to do something while she climbed up on the table and ate them all. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. Lots of good stuff, fiber and stuff, right? It, I guess. Still annoying. <laughs> Still annoying. That's interesting. And were they red, or does she does she doesn't care whether they are red or green or? Oh no, they were red, but she wouldn't care. She wouldn't care. So I'm gonna do white. Uh, the top is supposed to be white. So I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do this one, right, and then let it crust, and now we're just going to do, well, um, actually, I prefer letting it crust and then do the orange and white, I have to say. I do prefer that way. But you could do the white, no? Yeah, but I do like to kind of shape it around the orange a little bit. All right, so for this one, we're just going to do, um, again. This is giving me circus vibes. <laughs> Okay, that's good, I suppose. But it's a similar color palette. Have, you, you, been, have you been to a circus? Not in a very long time. What just here, do? just just here. What? Just here? <laughs> well, I'm gonna bill you later then. <laughs> oh, my my tools are flying all over. I'm having too much of a good time here. All right, so this one I'm not, I'm just going to go with the... Um, I just want to mention, I see the, the viewership jumped for whatever reason. Hello, welcome to uh, the new uh, viewers. If you guys are just arriving, you can watch on replay. I'm doing the wrong one. I'm all messed up. This is supposed to be Jack o Lantern. Uh, this is supposed to be orange. Sorry. <laughs> oh, crisis averted. You see, if you make a mistake, you take your spatula and you scrape it oh, off. I'm looking at it like, what am I doing wrong? It doesn't look right. That's because she's working and decorating at the same time. She can't multitask. Of course I can multitask. <laughs> How dare you? Yes, I can multitask. But yes, I was talking and like it's it's sometimes we are, I got sidetracked. So this is going to be a jack o' lantern. So it's orange. And again, I'm doing it in segments. You don't have to do the segments at all. You can just do it in one swoop. You can outline and flood. Now uh, my scribe, I threw it out, so uh, thankfully I have more scribes here. Yes. These are, really, these are really great to have. 
these metal sprays. You can get um, get them pretty cheap. Yeah, they're, they're very yeah. affordable. Hen, when you film your cookie videos, just out of curiosity, do you leave your mistakes in the editing process? Are you suggesting I make, I make mistakes? <laughs> yeah, well, no, um, no, I actually, well, um, well, I stopped filming because it's it's um, a waste of the the memory card. But what what do you mean, like in the in the actual footage where I posted on YouTube or Facebook? Yes. Sometimes, sometimes it's a, if it's a really like important, uh, like if it's a really like a learning mistake kind of a thing. Yeah, I will leave it. It will be fun to see all our right bloopers. Like it would be. Really oh, fun. I, I've got not enough time in a day to find all the bloopers. But yes, uh, usually though, when I've left my mistakes in the videos, the comments are very positive from people liking not that they like to see us suffer but i think they like to see that we're not we are, uh, we are just regular people yes yes we do make mistakes oh gosh i make so many mistakes um so this one is going to be white this is the one this is not crusted yet i don't think it's heavily crusted so it's okay i didn't really have time to make a lot of these the free the live Sparkly Pig, which I don't think is her birth name or their birth name, uh, liked your little snarky. Um, but are I, you I, guess you, I guess you 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 are really fond of pigs. Then they're cute. Pigs are so cute. Maybe it's a channel. Yes, mistakes is uh, unfortunately mistakes are how we learn best, right? Well, that's how you learn exactly. See, these are so easy, guys. A kid could do it. So easy. Uh, so, so, easy. Easy. so easy. So I'm putting this down. This is probably. That annoy you guys when we say it's so easy? Slightly crusted, so I'm going to do. Oh, did I? Nobody corrected me? Oh, no. This is a. Uh, sorry. This I'm mean, uh, yelling here. This is a uh, Jacob one. Just see my sugar. Look, look. Look what's happening. So this is what I have to deal with. So I just mix this and look. It's the sugar inside. So it's clogging up. Oh, yeah. Very yeah. odd. Isn't it? Look, it's all the sugar. So I have to, I'm going to do this and then swap out my bag. All right. So I'm going to do, this is all orange. But I don't know. I don't think this is crusted. So we'll see. Yeah, I think it's going to get blended together. Maybe not. See, like it's blending together. You want to let it crust for a little longer, because that way you get a really nice definition between the second. Yeah, the it just things. looks like one big orange area. Yeah, it's kind of like there's a little like a hairline that separates the two, but it's not not very visible. Yeah. So the orange one is going to be. Oh yes, this is my favorite. The orange one is going to be the cauldron. So for, to make the cauldron, I am going to use two shades of purple. And hopefully this is the- Olga's suggesting you outline after to get your separation. Yes, that, that's, a, that, that's, a, that's, an, um, that's an option, absolutely. All right, so we're going to do cauldron using wet on wet. I'm going to create some, um, shading hopefully it's going to be visible on the on the camera because these are i mean i don't know if you can tell these are you made two of the same color um this is lighter this is darker we'll see i don't know if i'll end up using i'll i'll we'll see what happens i'm gonna try to see if it's dark enough i'm trying to it. i'm gonna go look so which one um, is this one i think i'm gonna use this one it's the cauldron at the very top, the orange uh, bottom. The eyeball one? The eyeball one, yes. The eyeball one. So the eyeball one, you are going to outline the whole thing. And that's what you essentially can do with all the cupcakes. If you are not, you know, filling up to doing all the... So Diana, is your icing smooth? Like the surface is smooth when you're done icing it and then after they dry it has uh, lumps? 
bumps. Then the only thing that's coming to mind in your situation is that the icing is basically varnishing the cookie and those bumps are the surface of the cookie. But if your icing is smooth, it shouldn't all of a sudden get lumpy. Hmm. That's weird. Interesting. Right? If you're, if you're cook, it's the only thing I can see is that it's essentially varnishing the surface of the cookie. And so it's, you're seeing the lumps from the surface of the cookie. Yes. Purple for the win. Uh, yes, I think she made her own eyeballs. Oh, yes, we are also I'm just chiming in about the lumpy icing can be a, from slow drying. I've never seen lumpy icing. So maybe use a fan, Amber, suggesting you use a fan or a, a dehydrator maybe to dry your icing. To slow drying, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we always, I always use a fan, you know, even now, like I'm trying to promote the, the crusting so we can get, um, uh, we can get ahead with, with the decorating. Um, so I have a fan running from the cookies. Now I wouldn't recommend having it full blast when you first like flood, let's say you do one round, like rounds. If you do a full blast, sometimes the air can be, it can actually push the icing a little bit so you can get a, Right, it can dry funny, so I would uh, I wouldn't do a full blast. So good luck with that. Are you recovering from your cookie con experience, June? She brought home nearly fifty cookie cutters. Fifty eight cookie cutters. Are we oh. are fifty eight? Okay, I thought it was four K. So more than that, I thought it was fifty. Oh well, she she'll tell us. Yes, I wish I had, it was that easy for me to also find a sugar that is uh, ten, you know, ten times uh, pulverized. But it's not everybody has that available, unfortunately. If we weren't separated by an ocean, we'd be joined at the hip. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <that's, laughs> I should have it as a banner. <laughs> yes, that is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's uh, that's another. Yeah, when you stack your trays. Excellent tip. Excellent tip. Oh, yeah, Thank because you. people don't have a lot of space to put their their trays all over the place, so they'll stack them, kind of, you know, like this to, you know. But when you do that, you're kind of putting a container lid on the thing, and so it can't dry. Wait till you're going to bed. And nobody, it doesn't matter. You can spray your spread your trays out. Take all the counter space. Yeah, I can imagine it's hard for yeah if you don't have a lot of room. Like I didn't have a lot of room in my kitchen. Um, well, she got forty nine cutters. It's forty nine. Yes, yeah. so I knew it was like one shy of fifty. Yes. So let's see, so we're almost done with this one. This is really cute. I'm going to finish it up um, by adding the, the very top. So I would do the yellow first and then drop a dot in the middle and then you can use your needle to kind of pull, you know, that, that football shape in the middle there. Or you can just do them yellow and paint the football shape with a black marker in the middle. You can practice okay. I mean, royal icing trap pretty forgiving so you can make a few and get your groove on see which ones this, are turning um, this decorating supplies kit also comes with a really neat template on how to make and and step by step tutorial on how to make um, candy corn sprinkles okay so once this dries once the bottom dries you can then use your sprinkles and these i made ahead of time okay and to attach these I'm just going to use a little bit of white icing. I'm just going to um, type it on here. Now, keep in mind, this is still not dry, okay? So I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to push too hard on it. I'm just going to place it there. I would avoid placing it directly onto the wet 
because the, the base is quite dark. So what happens when you have a lighter, lighter um, icing, it can, the color can seep through, especially the white part. It would probably seep into the white quite a bit. Okay. Ta-da! How easy was that? Beautiful. Very, very, you like say festive just, for Halloween? Very festive. classic. Hmm? And you say festive for Halloween? Well, you can say festive for anything. No, festive, how, no? I don't know. Let us know in the comments. I, I, well, yeah, no, you have, can say festive. It's, yeah, well, this is very Halloweenish and it's very, very, you know, it's a classic candy corn, a little purple, yeah. you know, yellow, gold stars, okay? Well, so for the fake cookies, the fake cookies, I did do some research to do fake cookies, but I didn't really find What's um, a fake anything. Cookie? Hey? What's, a fake cookie? What's a fake cookie? Well, to make like ornaments that you would keep, you know, like so, yeah, let's see, like, a, like a salt dough, for example. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, I have done that salt dough. Have you? What did you find? Well, somebody's asking. Uh, Sparkly Pig is asking about fake cookies to use as ornaments or decor. Well, you could use salt dough, yes. Or I would. I, I actually um, like if. Uh, you could use the what's the white stuff that you like you use it's not a it's a clay po uh, fema polymer is that it's i think it's cheaper than than regular polymer clay it's like um oh i'm sorry bonnie i oh, hope no. you need to you know, recover really soon hope it you know it's uh, thank you jennifer very very uh <laughs> Kind of you to pop that in. So you could use that. You could use the the clay thing, and those will last for a long time. I don't know about the piping on them though. What's the best consistency? Well, it depends on what the transfer is. For so small if it's transfers, I, like I would do like twenty. I try not to do. If you want them to keep their shape, right, and then. Yeah. And then if you're doing, for example, like a little a uh, rose, like a little um swirl you know then you need even stiffer oh yeah yes well if you're doing flowers yes definitely you need a stiff you need stiff icing so it does depend it, de it depends you can actually find i have a really um good tutorial if i myself uh, say so on my on my channel on my channel on my channel and on my um on my blog it covers all the different uh royal icing transfers how to make them um and how to use them okay so this is, all right, so let's see if we can start working on the eyes because this really has to be crusted. So let's see, okay. Oh, yes. All right, it's, it's, it's almost there. So it should be, we should be ready to go. So to make the eyes, uh, to make the eyes, I actually used. Um, what are you saying here, Kim, uh, monogram initials? For the cookies, you'd monogram them? Is that what you're saying? All right. Jennifer just posted uh, Hans uh, Royal Icing Transfer post if you guys. Thank you, Jennifer. All right, so to make the eyes, I'm going to use um, white royal icing. And depending on how experienced you are, if you're not going to pile the icing up too much, you can use 15 second consistency if you're going to make them more of a flat, you know, flat eyes. But if you're going to pile it up, I would suggest using thicker icing because then you can experience uh, cratering. Um, I'm going to use white icing to make the, make the, is that the sclera? Is that the part? Oh my God, now we're doing eyeball parts. Is All right, guys. So we need some help. Not the biology white. class. Is it, is it the sclera, the white part? Sclera, sclera, something. So I'm gonna use that. Have for a good week. afternoon. And then Alicia. we need to thank you, thank you, Alicia. Have a great afternoon. So then we're going to do blood veins. Oh, of course. And then um, I'm gonna use um, this lovely, lovely green for the. What's that part? What's the what is that called? Not the pupil. What's that called? Uh, help me out here. No? The, the colored part of the eyeball? The colored part is what? Iris. No? No. It, no. Is it iris? Colored part? And pupil is black? I don't know. Sclera. I think sclera is white. I don't know. 
Look it up. All right. So we're going to use four colors, guys. Okay, so this is exciting. When I type iris, I got the flower. No, you just um, write eye anatomy, that's all. <laughs> but it is the colored part, iris. Is it colored part, iris? What's the white part? Uh, it's not, I don't have an arrow on that. Okay. I just have the pupil, okay. the iris, the white part. I don't have a line. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's okay. some sort of an S word. Scalera? Yeah, but the, it's it's hard to read because it's such a small chart. Well, you, okay, so I guess it's, it is the sclera. So now I'm, I'm, I'm adding red. Sclera. Right, it's really fun to do. So you're going to make the veins and you're basically just dragging the icing out from the center to the middle. Pat, Pat says it's a fender. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so from now on, if we don't know what something is, it's a fender. Okay, perfect. No, I think it's a sclera. Jennifer's saying yes, the scolera, and then the iris, and then the pupil is black. See, I've done, yeah, I've done my homework. Yes, yes, yes. So this is a iris, and now I'm doing a pupil. And then for the reflection, and you've seen this done many times, you see how a little, um, bumpy is it, it is so kind of flatten it with your scribe and then for the reflection what you do you take your um, scribe tool or a, you can do this with a toothpick as well and you just take a small amount of icing and just place it on the edge of the black okay and we've got the first eye <laughs> perfect Yes, so now the second eye, okay, can you guys see? Okay, I'm going to make it a little bigger. So I'm keeping these on a flatter side. See? I don't, I didn't get any eyeball candy this year. I didn't see it. They didn't have the, the, the gum eyeballs. Well, you've got plenty of candy for Halloween, I think. You've got a lot, no? I got bats. I got that cool stuff. all kinds of body parts. Oh, the, the teeth, the gummy teeth. What you can do, you can actually draw with wet icing. You dip it in and yes. then use it and you can like make it longer, you know? Stretch it out. Yes, yes she's it. making those eyeballs. These can be also made as transfers. I had done this with a project a couple years ago uh, using a candy corn, and then you can make them ahead of time and then just drop them um, uh, drop them uh, on your cookie, you know? We're, we're full service live. Yes. We're starting homeschooling. <laughs> okay, don't make me laugh because that. And car shop art. I mean, it's all the, the subjects in one. Okay, let's repeat. Okay, can you tell me what's the what's the battle? Of the no car? algebra or calculus. Can you tell me what's the bottom of the car called? If we are like, we're gonna do repeat. The bottom of the car. Runner bo running board. Was it a running board? No. Uh, Runner board. I think it was a running board. Then you have a fender. Front bed. Thank you, Diana. So these are quite easy to do. You can use different colors, obviously. Hello, Pine. Oh, we did botany on Friday. That is correct. Oh, yes, that's true. Yes. Those cookies turned out really nice, guys. They you know, did. They what did. I did with, um, if anyone watched, um, I, I what I did with the uh, sunflower one. It was really nice. Cynthia's pointing out that Amber's taking care of beauty school for us as well. Yes. Yes, full service. That's right. Who said, well, the thing is sometimes you're doing um, a research to get it like to look right and you learn stuff inadvertently. I actually love useless information. 
Oh, me too. Me too. I, I call it my useless information. And then, then you say it, and it's like everybody's like, oh, she knows stuff. But I'm like, well, I really don't. I just made a cookie that looked, you know, that I needed to look it up. Hello, Fabiola. Hey, Fabiola. Mexican connection. I think that's electric green. Yes, this is an electric green. It really makes a difference. It makes these more, I think, like monstrous looking. Hello, JD. Glad you're enjoying it. How's life in Florida? It's already starting to cool down here in Montreal. It was, it was only like 11 this morning when I went out to drive Ryan to school. Only 11. Wow, that's pretty cold, I have to say. So now I'm going to do some... Um... Have a good day, Olga. Have a good day, Olga. So I'm going to do some... Um, what are these? Um, um, bubbles. First, I'm going to finish the liner. Okay, so to make the lines on the liner, I often find myself like, oh, where do I start? How do I make them, you know, somewhat evenly spaced out? So what you can do, you can start in the middle. Okay. Uh, just to point out 11 uh, Celsius. So it's, I think, a little bit more uh, depressing 11 in Fahrenheit. <laughs> oh, yeah, Fahrenheit is very depressing, yes. All the kids are back to school. You can get back to to your cookie your cookie adventure. That's it. When the kids kids distract from cookies. Oh, the pug is watching too. Hello, pug. So you see, I I, I did the first line in the center, and now I'm going to do my second line in the center of this section, and then third line in the center of this section. Okay, so that way you have it somewhat evenly spaced out. So degrees is 100 degrees mild? Is this what you're telling us? Because if that's mild, you're living on the surface of the sun. That's pretty hot. That is hot. I think you can cook an egg on a, on a concrete there. 90s. Oops. I'm going to clean up the edge there. Sometimes it's... Okay. Well, on Tuesdays, Amber is not usually with us. She's with us on Fridays. So Tuesdays, it's usually just me and Han. And on Fridays, last Friday, exceptionally, she had uh, mom duty to attend to. But um, she'll be back with us this Friday. If you want to join us on Friday, Amber will be there. If you need to clean up the, the bottom, you can use this handy tool, guys. Okay, so now I'm going to make the bubbles and we're just going to, I'm going to use this dark icing that I have prepared. Is the powder bitter? The food color, I would imagine, Pat, you're talking about, no, it's fine. No, nothing to um, really, I haven't noticed anything. If you find your icing has a, a little taste, you can add lemon juice. Find that really hides it well. So you use the lemon juice instead of water. Add a little zip to your to the, yeah. the icing. I have a full recipe on how to make fresh lemon royal icing. I'm adding some highlight with the lighter purple. So this is essentially what you did with the coffee. Would you with say? The, with I'm sorry, with what? Your coffee. Remember when you made the coffee tutorial? Oh, the coffee was uh, the bubbles. It's uh, yes, but it's uh, I believe it's three. Um, is it three uh, colors? See, I was like uh, yes, my yeah, um, senior moment. Sorry, it's three bubbles, but this is more raised. The, the, I wanted the, co the coffee thing. You want it to be more flat, but yes, I think. It's two colors? Did I do two colors or three colors? I think I did two I colors. Remember. I think all right. Yes. I can't hi, remember. Cynthia. Hi. Or hi. So you just have to add, you know, you, you obviously don't want to overdo it. You just add as many as you like. You can so this is my favorite one. Bigger or smaller. Yes, I mean, this. it's my favorite one as well. It's fun. 
it's a little more involved, but I do like the eyes a bit. You know, it's just a little more, you know, spooky-ish. Okay. So we are we are over at you know we we were I have two more but um, should I finish them? These are fairly quick, so I'll put I'll this finish one. there. If anybody um, wants to, you know, so play with I'll us, and if not, well, you can watch finish. it on replay if you want to see how it ends. I'll finish this one really quickly. I'm gonna do. Um, That's the great thing now. I mean, before TV, you know, you had to basically get stuck to the TV. Now you watch things when you want. You just, right? We're live now, but. April's liking your cookies. JD says she's gonna make them. Awesome. Buena. Buena? Vista B? 79 is about good. That's, I think, good weather. We had 30, uh, so which is about, I would say, 90, I guess. And that's hot. Or maybe a little a little below that. I, I, I don't remember. It was nice. It was nice weather. Yeah. Shanna's saying modern conveniences. I don't know if we could go back to a paper map and... Um, <laughs> paper map that was a long time ago yeah and actually having to go to the library and sift through books to find information we want oops well that would be fun i love libraries i, I actually like watched the netflix i don't know if you thought of um gosh now i'm blanking out complete and my brain's just erased the guy that did the painting um the painting YouTube, like the first guy that would teach painting on TV. Why is my brain? Come on, guys. The, well, I, I, guy. his, his mouth is a little odd, but the uh, deco lantern is odd anyway. So, anyway, he was the first YouTuber, Bob Ross. Yes, he was the first, essentially, the first YouTuber teaching people art. You know, it was an interesting documentary. Was it on Netflix? It was. Yeah, I don't have Netflix. We don't have a television, I have to say. Although Netflix, you can watch on, on anything, I suppose. But we have not been watching. I have not seen a movie in so long. When we first saw the TV, I felt like, oh, how is this going to go? No. But um, now I don't, like, I don't, I get stuff down more. Like, you don't miss it as much. I feel like, yeah. So now I'm going to use, remember I made these a couple weeks ago. I made cute little ghosts. Oh, yes. Yeah. First. So while this is wet, we, you can just pop them on there. Just a little accent, you know, hello, more Halloweenish accent. Ta da. Okay, so now the fourth one is going to be um, this is a, essentially a ghost. You could obviously make it more complicated. You could airbrush the edges with black and things like that. Yes, Bob Ross, happy little accidents. So now I'm going to do, we're gonna do simple eyeballs. These are going to be just uh, oval shape. Eyeball. Oh, this icing is coming out funny. Okay. Sunita is saying she loves your chocolate uh, cookie recipe. Thank you. So to make the, the reflection again, you can just, I'm just going to pipe it straight there. You can Thank you, Erin. How long? Uh, April's asking about the shelf life of the transfers hand. Oh, it's forever. Indefinitely, I would say. Like, um, I would say, I would say this, okay? I always tell people that you can make them years, uh, years, um, years ahead. Years, literally, I have some that, that I've had for years. But if you are in a business of, of uh, you know, decorating, I would say keep them for a, a year. I mean, that way you, you, you kind of say that they're not going to taste odd or they will lose their flavor. But I've had my, some of them I've had for five years, and uh, I'll, literally I will taste them and they taste fine. 
So unless you expose them to extreme moisture or extreme sunlight, like sun, direct sunlight is something that also affects the, the color because they will fade. One thing, they will fade over time. Even if you store them properly, they will slightly fade over time. For five years, they faded a little bit. But if you put them in a direct sunlight, they will fade like in a, in a couple of weeks. So how, how hungry do you have to be to eat a five-year-old uh, royal icing transfer? Just curious. I'm always hungry. <laughs> I do this from a heart so I can then tell people that they can have a five-year-old uh, transfer. <laughs> no, I just, yeah, I wanted to see, like you wanted to, have you have you never tried it? Like I wanted to see, no. like is it still edible? No. So no. I, I, uh, <laughs> I don't want to know. I did a five-year-old rose. Okay, it was perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. So, so um, JD, you're asking about um, the Bob Ross movie. You know, the joys of fast forward. There are parts that were less. You know, so I just jumped ahead. Uh, you know. That's the, the great thing now about when you're watching stuff. I wanted to know some stuff and his son is in it. So you get to know like, you know, but it's not, uh, you know, it's not that riveting. Not as exciting as watching us decorate cookies. And talk about fenders. Right? Exactly. Oh yes, a hand coming out of the cupcake, like a graveyard cupcake. Very cute idea. Cookies for dogs, yes. The dogs are less critical of the final product, I'm sure. <laughs> and as always, guys, you can, actually, you can support us on coffee. We have not changed the name of the fund, but we should call it a laugh fund, no, or laugh uh, donation. <laughs> I know sure. we're gonna laugh with us today a little bit. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to do my bottom of the, the liner, so to do the lines. Oh, glad you're enjoying it, Erin. Okay, so let's do the lines last, and then I'm going to make some, make it a bit more colorful. I don't think the sugar necessarily expires, but eventually sugar does, like, clump together, and, like, it kind of, like, you know, becomes uh, so. And, and depending on, like, your climate and stuff, it, it ha you know can like brown sugar in most cases doesn't last infinitely just becomes like a big clump yes it hardens yes yeah mm, i'm gonna clean up the edges you're watching that well aren't all cookie tutorials on fast forward i mean you go on instagram they're at 100 miles an hour right june so remember these, I made also these, I don't know if you've seen how, how I made these, but I did make them during the live, I believe. These, are I also, do these, transfer, these transfer um, template sheets are also included with the cookie kit supplies, but you can also get them if you don't plan on buying the kit, you can also get them in my coffee shop. And it's all of them there, all the Halloween um, transfer sheets are included in one purchase. So it's all in the coffee. So I'm gonna just pop these in. It's great to have these little tweezers because, oops, because they, um, you know, you can place them where you need them. All right, so today I made the four cupcakes. Really cute, fun, very, you know, um, beginner friendly, I would say. Let me zoom out a little bit. Get all my piping bags out of the way. Yeah, they're little vampire teeth. That's right, April. Yes, little kind of like sprinkles. Okay, so let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section down below. Okay. So Very good. Yes. I have to say <laughs> it's... um. For me, it's like a tie between the eyeball and the candy corn. Very cute. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Again, you can get all of these, all of these um, um, supplies in my coffee shop, in my uh, my global belly shop. Sorry, global belly shop. And what you what you'll get, you'll get a um, cookie mix, relaxing mix, 
the cutter, all the colors you need, scribe to, and all the templates that are you know necessary to create this, and also a step-by-step -step PDF tutorial um, with with the purchase. So make sure that you get all the all the supplies now, so you can then decorate for Halloween because Halloween is creeping up, right? On us. Oh my gosh, it's upon us! Um, yeah, it's upon it's us. Like We're already a week into it's September seventh. We're already a week into yeah. September. Yes. I mean, it's like so fast. All right. So you want to show, uh, do you have, oh, you, you don't have your, yeah, you, you don't have. Well, I can just pop it on here. These are the cookies that I made today. If you guys want to watch on replay, if you missed it, you can watch at the beginning of the video. And that to uh, the template, the royal icing transfers for the, for the fender is in the coffee shop. And the, the link to the cutter is in the description box of the listing there. So thanks so much for joining us, everyone. We hope you enjoyed it. We're going to be back with Amber on um, on Friday. And uh, that's it. It went fast. Went Thank fast. You. On an hour and 15. Yes, we are going over time today. But it was fun. I hope you guys had fun. We had a good laugh. So thank you, Joanne. Joanne. Thank you, thank you. See you, Amber. So thanks everybody for joining us. And we'll see you on Friday. Bye. Bye.